Over a thousand drivers flocked to Johnson Valley this season to seek glory within the rocks and ruin. These are the techs that diagnosed their vehicles, got them running, and helped them chase a podium. These are the stories of the HP Tuners techs. How's it going guys? We're out here at King of the Hammers 2023 and we had uh, the vehicle owner of this Can-Am X3 show up saying he had a check engine light and it's running kind of funny. So we're hooking up VCM scanner here and we're going to read the codes and get some data logs and see if we can diagnose this for the fella. They're all circuits. It definitely has to do with his wiring. Well, we hooked up the BCM scanner, we read the codes, and he has seven or eight circuit and voltage codes. So looking at the machine, he has his aftermarket stereo system, aftermarket lights. There's all kinds of aftermarket wiring and harnesses that he installed in here. So I'm gonna jump to the conclusion that he probably has a voltage or a circuit issue from the aftermarket wiring and harnesses that he put in and this being a brp product it doesn't actually give you the codes and the heads up display so within 60 seconds we hooked up with the vcm scanner read the codes and kind of came to a conclusion on where to lead him for his diagnostics we're going to share the codes with the customer and kind of give them a, a lead on what to chase down Jeff here at IH Parts America. We're here at Run BC HP Tuners. We're gonna throw the old trail tractor on the dyno and see how many uh, cobs of corn we can spit out on this thing and see how much power it puts out. How much? Oh no, <laughs> right on. <laughs> I was pretty close to the buck 50. So can I throw that intake off of there? Well, the old trail tractor put out 159 horsepower at the rear wheels, not bad. We've taken the Donaldson off. It's kind of a huge restrictor in my opinion. Kind of curious if I gain 10 horsepower just by taking this off of there. This is an 11, 11 horsepower, 11 horsepower restrictor right here. Throw that in the trash. Yeah, well, it's really good at keeping my air cleaner clean. Well, it was 170 with uh, Donaldson off of there, so total restrictor plate in, in a sense, but it does help on the long week of Ultimate Adventure keeping your air cleaner clean. I've yet to actually clean my air filter after UA 2022. That's how well it works. So, but it does cost me 11 horsepower to have it. We're here at King of the Hammers with Off-Track Motorsports, shooting on their LS3 powered Jeep. Um, it has a throttle position sensor code, so we're gonna pull the file out of it and see what we're working with. Uh, we, we made some uh, intake runner changes and been battling a little bit of tipping issues and stuff for a while now and just hadn't had a chance to hook up with you guys and get her dialed in. So we're gonna work on some fine tuning and she'll be ready to rip. Uh, we're here with our LS3 powered 4500 car set up with stock GM, PCM, and HP tuners. Uh, we race in Friday's Everyman Challenge 4500 Yukon Gear and Axle Modified class. We won it last year, and uh, we're just down here getting getting prepared, getting ready for qualifying, getting tuned up and ready to try again. Uh, just looking over the calibration, making some small changes. We're gonna put it in, see how it, uh, how it works. I didn't tune this before, so okay. just kind of going over it. And make some small changes for the things that they've done to the vehicle. See what we have. So now we're just writing the calibration back to the vehicle. We're gonna fire it up, see what the changes did, go from there, hopefully address our TPS issue.
less than one minute in or right at one minute in, you should, somewhere in that range, you should, it did it big time. So we're gonna put the vehicle on the dyno, make some runs with it, have it in a controlled environment, see if we can find the problem that way instead of just sending these guys out. Um, we'll have our wide band on it and stuff like that so we can get a better look at what's going on and, uh, and get them fixed up and get them ready to go. We just got this rig on the dyno. We are having some tip-in stumble issues. We think it's a lean stumble. And so what we're doing here is getting our wide band hooked up. We're gonna tip in and see what the fueling's doing and see if we can nail down what the issue is and get this guy running clean for his next race. Out here at Hammers, it's not a flat out horsepower race like Brandon or Sturgis or some of these others but having a good overall drivability when you're laying into the rocks and, and that little bit of finesse sometimes can definitely be the, the difference between the right line and the wrong line and can make all the difference in the world. Yeah, definitely having these guys out here is, is a game changer. When uh, Andrew told me that they were gonna be out here, was I was definitely excited to be able to do some fine tuning and, and get this thing dialed in. It, it's a huge bonus having you guys out here helping us out. Using BCM scanner, we were able to see that it was lean when it was going in to power and rich. So we added fuel to those areas and making the, the Jeep run the way it should. So with the improvements that we made, we should definitely help him get to the winner circle. Sean Smith and I'm in uh, my diesel powered one-eyed Willie. It's a 1948 Jeep. Started life as a stock 48 and it just kept breaking. So I swapped a 2019 Mahindra Roxer chassis underneath. So it's got a 2.5 turbo diesel, five speed, a copy of a Dana 18, a copy of Dana, Dana 44s. And I put about 10,000 miles on it the way it is now. And she's, she's had a couple of bad days. Got a bottle jack holding up the dash, some, some welds, bubble gum, bailing wire, bailing wire all over the, the windshield frame there. But yeah, just it's a lot of fun, makes a lot of smiles. And uh, we're gonna see what she throws down. Power wise, probably the low number of the day. Eighty-two went pretty good. More power than uh, I think anybody thought. So eighty-two, seventy-eight. We pulled the air filter. It's full of oil from a little rollover, and uh, eighty-two now. So pretty good. So we had this gentleman show up in his buggy. It's a 5.3 stock engine. And he's having a misfire. We said it was down on power. So right away we found a spark plug wire arc. Well, obviously so. I, didn't I think there's probably a better option. Yeah. yeah, you can see it clear as day now if you want to look at it. Is that a plugs, wires, and fix the cam sensor. It'll run a so whole hell of a lot better. So the cam sensor is this guy right here, right? One this guy right here? Yeah. That one Power of BCM scanner. It took us about two minutes to figure this thing out. I got to grab a couple parts and uh, swap some stuff out. Thankfully, these guys are here to help out and uh, get me back I'm scooting across the desert. So I'm very thankful these guys are here to help. We've got a uh, LS package here with uh, uh, Mephi, the interface. And so we need HP tuners to help because they're the only people on the late bed that can help us. So we're trying to figure out why this thing is uh, crapping out on us when we're trying to trying to go qualify for a race, so we need help. They're having a misfire issue. We're not exactly sure what's going on. I'm just getting some data right now. This is just really troubleshooting at this point and just getting as much data as we can get so we can identify any issues. I don't know. We're uh, going to go a couple different ways here. Add some fuel where it was missing. I definitely felt like it might have been like We do have some junk in here, though. Come on. Alright, ignition off. Alright, come on.
So it did sound like it was some kind of sensor or connector issue. So I just pulled on the crank sensor and it died. It's a wiggle test. That's how you figure out like 90% of these things. You start wiggling wires until you track well, them down. Do we get bonus points for at least putting a sensor in it? You do. You do. You're on the right track. Being that damn close, I don't think so. It wasn't me connecting it back on this morning. It's in the pins. Yeah, it's probably in the pin. But we can pull those out and look at them and probably so, bend them back. And then we'll fix the idle while we're sitting here. So it starts up for you every time, and then... So we wire some tools and we'll pop that thing out? So the issue that we're having definitely wouldn't have allowed us to go and run qualifying. This car was not running right, would barely get above 2,800 RPM. So being able to come here, get this thing fixed, get this thing to snap, and get all of its horsepower back and available to us, man, was just top notch. So they went on a test run, figured out, definitely had some loose wires. They said it's breaking up in a couple spots, but looking at the tune, I think it's a little rich in those areas. So we're going to verify a couple other things and hopefully get this thing wrapped up in the next couple minutes and get them up to the other side. So this morning, these gentlemen stopped by. They have a uh, an LS powered rock crawler here. They have a new engine in the vehicle with a different camshaft than what it was tuned for prior. So I hooked up the VCM scanner, looked for obvious codes and problems. Uh, everything looked good, so I'm pulling the file out now. We're gonna see what we have and we'll go from there. My name's Randy Slosson. I'm here in the Bomber Fab car. We're at HP Tuners getting our tune touched up. T seems like the cam's just a little different in this motor than what we've been running. And it wasn't bad, but it wasn't right. So we're getting it, getting it cleaned up. You know, the throttle response has got to be there. The, the return to throttle has got to be right. We can't have this thing dying on, in the rocks and having to refire it and stuff. So it's all got to be tip top if we want to win. So we've got Alan from Sparco. He has a, a Pro XP that uh, has a, a BC Stroker engine in it, um, built by DNM Racing. And uh, it was making 231 on their dyno, and he was out ripping her around and kind of noticed that she really wasn't pulling the hills like it should. So they brought it up here to put it on the dyno and check it. Um, and they had end up making, it ended up making 117, so it's down big on power. So we um, started digging around the machine, thinking maybe there's a boost leak or something. And they found that there's an issue with the wastegate, like it came loose. So uh, they're actually pulling a wastegate off of the parts off of another car to fix it. Um, and then we're going to make sure everything's good to go. We're going to hook up and data log it, make sure it's making the boost it should, temperatures are good, make sure there's no other issues, no other leaks or anything like that, and then uh, send him on his way to, to go back out and start ripping again. Uh, these gentlemen have an LS3 with a 6L80 transmission in this Jeep. Uh, they showed up in the pits. The vehicle wouldn't start, wouldn't really idle. It has a fairly aggressive camshaft in it. Uh, we have it running, idling, driving, starting, doing everything it's supposed to. Uh, so now we're going to jump into the transmission stuff. Uh, it's still ha it's it's set up for a 2011 Camaro right now. Uh, so we're going to set it up for his wheel and tire package and then his final drive rear end ratio. So we're going to start with the gear and tire wizard and put in his rear end ratio and his tire size. We're here in the middle of the desert and this is going to completely change this guy's ride. So uh, my wife and her team built this rig in 57 days. We only started it two days ago. We knew we had some tuning issues. So we just got to lake bed last night and this is our first stop today. HP tuners get the motor sorted out. We knew it ran. We just had some idle issues. Steve out here got us sorted super quick. We're headed back to the pits. We're probably going to be wrenching up until uh, tech, but we got this. We're really lucky that you guys actually take the time and effort to come out here and do this work for everybody. Uh, we really would have been screwed without this part because as good as all the parts on this Jeep are and all the support that we have, if the motor's not running, there's nothing we would have been able to do. We just wrapped up King of the Hammers 2023 out here with Brian Crower with their mobile dyno. And I believe we helped out 60 plus racers with their machines. Uh, us being out here was invaluable to a lot of people. We had so many people come up hours before their race with misfire issues, all kinds of different issues that we were able to diagnose with our VCM scanner, help them out, get them back on the trail and ready for their race. It's really incredible that we've helped over 60 people here this week. It just shows you how important our diagnostic services are and how important our tools are to the industry. Usually people were pulling in with their rigs, not running at all, and through the resources of HB tuners and their partners in the tuning world, they were able to get these guys back on the track and actually make the race. Um, you know, the, the value that they bring to this event 
is just second to none. We've been really fortunate to get out here, make some really good connections with you know people in the you know in the off-road industry, and uh, and help a lot of guys out. So you know we're it's what we like to do. Um, you know, being able to come out here and diagnose, you know, little problems and just, you know, help people enjoy their weekend out here or have a successful race, um, you know, is what HP Tuners is all about. The fact that we can hook up our laptops and help them, educate them about their vehicle and figure out what's wrong so they can go back to their pit and fix it, it's just, it's just awesome opportunity. So if you're following us, keep in mind, be ready for next year. We're going to be out here again and we're ready to help you get your ride going.